Number 10 from the 2008 paper then. Here we've got the velocity equation. The velocity expressed as a function of time. Obtain the expression for the acceleration. Well, they're all just related to each other. They're all one is the rate of change of the other. Velocity is the rate of change of distance. And acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Or going backwards, integrate. But I want to get the acceleration. So the acceleration is going to be the rate of change of velocity. If your velocity is changing, then you must be accelerating. And the derivative of that is simply going to be 3t squared minus multiply by the power 24t plus 32. And it says, what's the acceleration when t is 0? So if t equals 0, that means the acceleration is going to be just putting 0 into that. I don't need to probably state that, just a equals 32. Then the second part. At time t, the body is at the origin. Obtain a formula for the displacement at time t. Well, to get the displacement, that would be x. Well, the velocity is the rate of change of x. v would be difference in distance over difference in time, dx by dt. So to go backwards, I'll need to integrate. So x is going to be the integral of v dt. So it's the integral of t cubed minus 12t squared plus 32t dt. And that's just going to be, so it's one quarter of power 4 minus divide by 3, 4 times t cubed plus divide by 2, 16t squared plus some constant. But it says that at time 0, your displacement x is also 0. Well, that means you've got 0 equals, they're all 0, plus c, which means c is 0. So the formula for the displacement is 1 quarter t to the 4 minus 4t cubed plus 16t squared without anything else at the end. Second part, show that the body returns to the origin at some time t and find when that happens. Well, it was at the origin at time equals 0, it follows this path. What's going to happen to this then? Well, if it returns to the origin, that means you're looking for x equals 0. So, what other value of t gives an answer of 0? That was a 16 there. Well, I suppose I will. I'll just multiply them by 4, even though it's going to make things obviously 4 times bigger. And then I can take out, that's a t to the 4, take out t squared. That'll leave me a t squared minus 16t plus 64 equals 0. Well, there's my answer for 0. Notice that's a double root of that equation. And this part here is going to give me, factorising it, and I just should have noticed that's a perfect square there. I've got minus 8 minus 8. So I've got t equals 0 or t equals 8, which means it must be returning at 8, and it said use the capital letter T for that, so that must mean that t equals 8. Units I'm not sure, I didn't specify, could be seconds, but t equals 8 is all that I need to put down.